Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. Going to give you a very thorough overview of the article here. There's quite a bit of information in it. Uh, there's a link in the description. If you appreciate the coverage, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video as you see fit. Need to give you a trigger warning. This is in regards to Harvey Weinstein, the Hollywood producer. He's faced a new trial in Los Angeles, further to his trial, which led to convictions in New York. So this is separate to that. He's faced a new trial in Los Angeles in regards to seven charges of sex crimes, which includes rape. So going to go through some of the details of that. Trigger warning is in place. So the trial has taken place. The jury had 40 hours spread over nine and a half days to deliberate, and they provided the judge with their verdicts. Those verdicts are that Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty of three sex crimes, including rape. He's been acquitted of one of the charges, sex crime charges laid against him. He was acquitted. The remaining three sex crime charges resulted in deadlock, meaning that the jury weren't able to come up to either uh, a, a not guilty or a guilty verdict. They came to deadlock. The judge offered them the opportunity for further time to deliberate. The jurors rejected that offer. They felt that uh, any further time, uh, any further opportunity to deliberate would not yield a decision in regards to whether or not he's guilty or not guilty in regards to three of the sex crimes. So to recap, Harvey Weinstein, Hollywood producer, has just faced a new trial in Los Angeles separate to the convictions that he faced in his New York trial. He's currently serving a 23-year sentence for convictions that he faced after the New York trial. This happened in Los Angeles and he's been found guilty of three of the seven charges laid against him, which includes rape. So we're not going to look through all of the details. There's quite a lot here, but we will look through um, the details of the different charges. Um, so let's do that now. Okay, so I'm going to read through the seven different charges that he's faced one by one. Uh, the first seven crime uh, sex charges that he faced in this Los Angeles trial, forced oral copulation, forcible rape and penetration with a foreign object involving jo Jane Doe 1, so an anonymous Italian actress. The Italian actress testified that Harvey Weinstein raped her at a hotel in Beverly Hills in February 2013. She was at, in Los Angeles for the LA Italia Film Festival. Harvey Weinstein allegedly forced oral copulation, forcible rape and penetration with a foreign object, February 2013. The second charge, sexual battery by restraint involving Jane Doe 2. Again, an anonymous victim, Jane Doe 2 claims, testified, that Harvey Weinstein groped her breast whilst he was masturbating in front of her. She has testified that this happened in a, another hotel in Beverly Hills, again February 2013. The third charge against Harvey Weinstein is a charge of sexual battery by restraint involving Jane Doe 3. Jane Doe 3 is a lady called Jules Bindi. She's a Hollywood masseuse. And she has testified that uh, Weinstein groped her whilst he was masturbating in 2010. A fourth charge... And Harvey Weinstein was found guilty of this charge. Forced oral copulation and forcible rape in 2005. Forced oral copulation and forcible rape in 2005. The victim of this charge, 
Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Jennifer Siebel Newsom is the wife of California Governor Gavin Newsom. So in 2005, it has been, well, Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty of forced oral copulation and forcible rape of Jennifer Siebel Newsom in 2005. Uh, the article tells us that the four witnesses who testified as to uncharged allegations against Harvey Weinstein began with a woman who has not spoken publicly outside of trial. She is identified as Ashley M. Ashley M. testifies testified that Harvey Weinstein assaulted her sexually in 2003 when she was in Puerto Rico working on a movie, Dirty Dancing, Havana Nights. Also testifying was Kelly Shippard. Kelly Shippard claimed that Harvey Weinstein raped her in a Toronto hotel room in 1991. Harvey Weinstein had invited her to have a conversation about the entertainment industry. She claims that she was raped. Kelly Shippard claims that she was assaulted for a second time in 2008 at the same hotel in Toronto after she confronted Harvey Weinstein about the 1991 assault. The article tells us that one of Harvey Weinstein's original public accusers, Amber Guterres, um, testified that Harvey Weinstein groped her breasts in New York City in 2015. Um, and there was she managed to record Harvey Weinstein trying to coax Amber Guterres into his hotel room. Uh, so she recorded that. That information was passed to the police, I believe. Finally, another witness testified, Natasia Mount, if I pronounce that correctly, Natasia Multh, perhaps. She testified that Harvey Weinstein raped her in London in 2008. Seemingly after a meeting about the entertainment industry. So that's pretty much all the information that we have within this article here. He's faced seven sex crime charges, found guilty of three of them, which includes... Um, a rape of a Russian Italian model and also the four store or copulation and forcible rape of Jennifer Siebel Newsom. So again, he's already faced a trial um, previously in New York and he's currently serving a 23 year sentence in regards to the convictions of the various sex crimes he was found guilty of from the New York trial. So these are three additional charges he's, he's, that he's been found guilty of. Sentencing will come in due course. We don't know when. It's possible that the prosecution may look to retrial him on three of the charges that uh, were remained in deadlock. Uh, but either way, he's going to face additional time to serve. Um, and I guess that sentencing will be declared over the ensuing weeks. So that's all we have. Okay, of course, full condolences to the victims concerned. Um, he's been found guilty in the court of law to multiple rapes, multiple sex crimes, uh, dating back 90 to 1991. So spread over a course of decades. Um, you know, I don't think I'm not a 100% a supporter of the hashtag Me Too movement, I don't, which I believe was somewhat inspired uh, from the events surrounding Harvey Weinstein. I'm not a 100% supporter of hashtag me too. I believe there, there is ample opportunity for women to claim victim when they haven't been victimized. So I think it is quite possible uh, for, for that to occur. However, if you face a trial, personally, I have to give a lot of faith to the judicial system Call me naive, but I just do. Um, they all faced a trial. Harvey Weinstein would have had the best possible defense lawyers you can imagine. 
So to me, I would take it that the prosecution had a great deal of evidence. The jurors, the fact that they were deadlocked on three of the crimes, to me, that indicates that they were taking this very seriously. That would be my takeaway. You might disagree. But, uh, you know, it wasn't an automatic knee-jerk reaction from the jurors to convict Harvey Weinstein on all of the charges. No, it seems like they did deliberate for 40 hours over nine and a half days. You know, my takeaway, based on the scant information that I've read through within this article, is that this seems to be a fair trial. And with that, I would take it that he is indeed guilty of these crimes that he's been found uh, guilty of, perhaps the crimes he's not been found guilty of, and also, of course, the crimes that he was uh, found guilty of within the New York trial. So, in essence, this guy's a scumbag. He's a serial rapist. He's a serial sexual assaulter, has been over the course of decades. Further question marks might be, well, how many people within Hollywood knew about this? You know, we've seen Courtney Love's little clip claiming that everyone knows about it. We've seen images of, many images of Harvey Weinstein being very friendly with a number of prominent Hollywood celebrities. Oprah Winfrey springs to mind. You know? Gwyneth Paltrow and others. How aware have they been of his criminal behaviour? Going to wrap things up here at this point, guys. If you appreciate the video, please do like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.